News presenter makes major King Charles blunder, leaving viewers shocked. Sky News viewers were quick to pick up on a number of on-air gaffes. As the channel addressed the news, the king is battling cancer. Buckingham Palace released a statement to announce the monarch's diagnosis and said that he'll undergo immediate treatment. Moments after the story broke last night, the network's US correspondent Martha Kellner spoke live from LA, and her error-ridden report didn't go unnoticed by those watching at home. She began by saying, We know that King Charles told all of his five children personally about his diagnosis that of course included the Duke of Sussex, despite the fact that the pair, it's no secret to say, have a very strained relationship at the moment. Addressing Prince Harry's return to the UK to comfort his father, she said that he had cancelled a planned trip to Canada with wife Meghan Markle. She went on to say, They were due to be in Vancouver to mark a year to go to the Invictus Games, which is an event for wounded, injured service men and women that King Harry has been a long-time advocate for. It didn't take long for people to notice she called Charles' son Harry King after they picked up on the fact that he doesn't have five children. Viewers took to Twitter to point out the blunders, as the station reported on the troubling royal news on Monday night. One user posted, Sky News going full Phil Space on the King's illness. One reporter just said the King had spoken to all five of his children and that said King Harry would be coming to the UK soon. Take a deep breath, people. Another poked fun, saying, Sky News' US correspondent Martha Kilner just said King Charles told all five of his children, including the Duke of Sussex. There may be an opening on Sky News for a US correspondent who knows her stuff. However, Martha was defended by someone else who pointed out, I think grandchildren is probably what she meant. 